Okay. You should see my screen. It should say Zoom. Can we all see my screen that says Zoom? And Molly, just I can't see the chat box, so just say if they can see this or not. I just want to make sure. And we are recording. We're good. Okay, awesome. Now, we're going to cover our first topic, which is Evo Rewards. Now, a lot of you new agents don't know exactly what Evo Rewards is. It's a whole program system that we have where you can get more discounts and coupons. Who doesn't like discounts and coupons, right? Put in chat box, me for coupons. So when you go to your back office, and let me go ahead and log out of mine, my apologies. When you go to your back office, which is always the myevolutiontravel.com site, you're going to log in with your agent ID and the password that you had created. I'm going to go ahead and log in. On the left-hand side of your back office, this is your dashboard. On the left-hand side, okay, it says Evo Rewards. It's got a dollar sign on this. Okay, as a dollar sign, it says Evo Rewards. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And this is, says click here to access your Evo Rewards portal. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open that. Now here's the portal, okay? This is your Evo Rewards. Welcome to your Evo Rewards discounts and deals program. Start saving money with these valuable offers, okay? So you can do automotive, car rental, dining, entertainment, golf, health and beauty, movie, shopping. There's everything and anything that you want is on here. And guess what? They're all for you. If you like the mobile app, you just says got mobile. Redeem details directly from your mobile app. This is where you're going to get the app. Okay, it's going to direct you to your Google Play, whatever you have on your phone, it's going to direct you there. Okay, so don't, you don't want to download the app first, you want to come here first, and then you can download the app. Okay, <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to see on here, we've got featured brands, um, we've got um, some, uh, um, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, programs here that you can click on. As you see, there's all sorts of more deals on here, Papa John's, et cetera. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick a, a place. I, I'm just going to go to my old um, Atlanta zip code. So as you see, for example, Atlanta, if I type in the zip codes, you're going to type in your zip code and search. And these are all the deals in Atlanta that I have for when I want to go there. Okay. 3,000 deals over 2,600 locations and 570 or so brands. That's great, right? That's a lot of savings. So I can definitely scroll down and see all the things that I have for when I wanna go visit. And you're gonna put anywhere that you wanna go. So you can definitely take a look at all of this for yourself, okay? So, and if you go into the bottom, okay, and you can say, how much can I save? So there's actually a savings estimator calculator, so it can calculate how much you're going to be saving. Okay, there's also the mobile, if you didn't go to the top and do it, but it says got mobile, you can redeem the deals directly from your mobile device, or you can be an, on the computer and you can go ahead and print them out. As you see, it says a little uh, redeem by print coupon or by mobile by your phone. Okay. Now, if there's a, is there, if there's a particular store or restaurant that you do not see, hold on, sorry, that you do not see on your list, you can actually scroll down to the bottom and it says recommend a retailer. Okay, so you can recommend your favorite place and they'll actually um, contact the retail, the retail store or the restaurant and they will submit it and see if they would like to be a part of this program. Okay, and if so, great, you just added on another one for your area. Who likes that? Put in chat box me if you like that, okay? There's so many deals for me to even go on. Of course, you can probably filter this by type, um, population, expiring soon, buy one, get one, buy one, get one half off, okay? There's a lot here. Courtney, we had one question. Yes. Can we give these out to clients somehow? You're jumping ahead of me. Yes, you can give them out to your clients. You can definitely send this, you can, you know, uh, um, redeemed by print, so it'll probably get sent to your email so that you can send this to your clients when they're going on a trip to save them some money. Yes, that was definitely on my list. <laughs> um, but you definitely want to take a look at this. Yes, this is for yourself. Yes, you can definitely use this for your clients. It is just a coupon. You can say, hey, I've got, you know, five different areas that are close by where you're staying at the hotel. You can probably use some of these if you'd like. They totally would love that. Those are kind of things that they would want to come back and book with you, right? 
wouldn't you want to go back and book with your travel agents? And hey, she just saved me a bunch of money on like a bunch of restaurants that I wanted to go to on my week's stay in Atlanta, right? That's something really that you would want. Okay, so now we're gonna head to, okay, um, let me go back here. Does everybody uh, understand that part? You can definitely do all of that for yourself. Definitely don't ignore the banners because there's obviously more here. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna go over is grocery coupons. Who goes grocery shopping? I go grocery shopping every day, actually. I go grocery shopping, so I can probably use these. And look, more grocery coupons in Atlanta area. There's 85 grocery coupons in this particular area. Okay, so you can definitely use these for yourself. Um, click to save, okay? So if I click on here, it's gonna open a new window and it's gonna bring me to this area. Now, if I click this, um, the, um, the plus sign, it's gonna add it to my little cart and it's gonna tell me how much I'm saving. Okay, so for that, that particular brand, this is the one that it's having me go to. So it's gonna, um, gonna go into a little area and then I can click on this uh, ending on the, um, on the, where it says zero here. So if I add it, it'll go here and then I can go ahead and print them out. Okay, so let me actually go back. So then you can click all of these and then be able to print them out for yourself. Okay. Um, and it'll, you know, like I said, it'll tell you the savings on there. Okay, you can search by category, you can search by brand. Um, and of course, you know, if you've got people staying in, you know, condos in certain places, go ahead and put in the zip code and you can probably send these coupons to your clients knowing that, hey, they're staying in a condo and they've got um, a kitchen. These may be helpful to them, right? These may be helpful for them. If they're gonna be staying somewhere, okay? Now also, if you scroll down to the bottom and let me find it here, where did it go? Here it is, okay. So when I'm on, after I clicked one of these coupons, it brought me to the coupons.com page. Okay, coupons.com page. And of course, obviously, this is where you're gonna get more coupons from that one particular coupon that I clicked on. If you scroll down to the bottom, it says you can become an affiliate program with coupons.com. So let me open that. Okay, it's gonna bring me to coupons.com. And guess what? You can actually, if you have a website, not an Evo travel agent website, but your own personal website, and you join their affiliate program, you, they'll send you, and once they approve you, okay, you have to get approved because you can't use your Evo site, but once they approve you, you can actually, you'll get a link that you can attach to your website. And if somebody um, opens that website, they'll see all the coupons that are associated with their area, and you'll get money from them using your coupons. Is that cool? Who likes that? I kind of like that, that's pretty neat, cool. Okay, so again, not your Evolution website, but your own personal website. Okay, so you definitely wanna go and scroll down to the bottom where it says affiliate program. We'll bring you to this area so you can join. Um, I can't do it because I can't get in. <laughs> it won't let me uh, put in my password. So, but they'll send you an email for approval, and then on your dashboard, it'll give you a link where you'll be able to create it and put it onto your own uh, website, okay? But they will ask you when you wanna get paid, do you wanna get paid by check or do you wanna get paid by direct deposit, okay? If you wanna get paid by check, as long as you have more than, you know, uh, they'll pay you, okay? But if you have more than five, $600 in um, what they're sending you, you know, over, at a, over time, they have to do a 1099 and they'll ask you also for a w, W9, but it's just for tax purposes, okay? But I mean, it's still, it's, it's still another source of money coming in with just coupons, right? Coupons that people probably already use and clip out out of magazines and clip out of, you know, online sources already. So it's definitely something that you guys can use. So you definitely wanna utilize all of the perks that are being offered on the Evo Rewards. Okay, so again, if you go to more and go to grocery coupons, that's where it's gonna be. There's your savings calculator, okay? Um, you definitely wanna get the mobile app, it'll be very useful, okay? <clears throat> now I'm gonna go to the travel section, okay? And 
on the travel section, we're gonna do a, a small mock booking. And on here, you can do hotels, cars, things to do, and flights. Okay, so no bundles, you have to be able to, you have to do it separately. There's all your popular things to do, Vegas, everything. But there is no commission on here. Okay, so you would have to add your own commission on here. So let's go ahead and do an example. Okay, we'll do a, um, I'll do a car. Okay, we're gonna pick it up at the Atlanta airport. Okay, we'll pick it up at the Atlanta airport. And we're gonna go ahead and pick it up um, in July. Okay, so we're gonna pick it up on the 5th and we're gonna return it, uh, you know, a couple of days later on the 8th, oh, this is August. Okay, so August 5th through the 8th. Okay, that's our car, so let's search. And again, there's no commission based on here. And we'll show you how to do that part in our second, uh, second area okay so here's all your cars so if you didn't want to use the other um, vendors that we have you obviously can use this for yourself um, you can use this for your client but just know that you're not earning commission on here okay so let's go ahead and just pick one <clears throat> okay we're gonna just pick an enterprise looks like it's a total of three hundred and four dollars today pay at pickup okay it tells you all the information so you can send this to yourself and you can make the little um, invoice for your clients. So you're gonna proceed to the checkout. Okay, you're just gonna fill out all this information. So you'll be charged $304.75 when you pick up their rental car. Okay, um, now if you're wanting to add commission, we will show you how to do an invoice. But so far, through what Evil Rewards has, do we have any questions as far as the coupons, because as you see, there's apparel, baby toddler, beverages, pet care, flowers, okay? Um, I know I saw one on for BJ's, um, for Costco, personal care, okay? There's a bunch of things on here. Um, do we have any questions so far on the Evil Rewards and how to use it, how to get to it? There's all your vitamins that you can save on. No questions in the chat box just yet, but feel free if anybody does have a question, you can also unmute, unmute yourself. Okay. So we have, I mean, there's so many here. Yogurts. I'm, I'm sure you guys use a, a lot of items on the grocery coupons, okay? So, um, it looks like there's $158 in savings so far just in this one area that I had put. So if you put in your zip code, you'll see all the different coupons that they have offered for, for your area. Um, so let's actually go back and someone put in the chat box a location. I need a zip code. I need a zip code. Who can give me a zip code? I just did an Atlanta zip code. So let's do a different one that's not Atlanta. We have a 37924. Three seven nine two four Knoxville, Tennessee. Is that Cami? Okay. There's nine hundred and fifty deals, seven hundred and seventy five locations for Knoxville, and three hundred and fifty five brands. That's a lot. Okay. So as you see, there's look cinnamon twist with a purchase, ten percent off fishing guide trips. Um, there's a bunch of ice cream, free appetizers. These are all things you can definitely use for yourself. Oh, Jersey Mike's my favorite. Okay. I've used Evo Rewards before and actually got a, because I'm a Jersey Mike's um, uh, customer, I already had a coupon with my little tab for already getting um, a free sandwich. And then I used my Evo Rewards and I got free chips, free chips and a drink with my sandwich. So I had a whole meal that I didn't have to pay for. I was so happy. I love deals. Who doesn't like deals, right? Put deals in the chat box if you like a good deal. If you like a good deal, put deals in the chat box, okay? So that's, so th then that's just for coup uh, your groceries. Of course, you definitely want to, again, just like in the back office, touch on all these categories, see what is available in your area. So the next thing that we're gonna cover, and let's go back to that travel one. I think I had to exit that out. So let's go back to that travel. Okay, so Molly can, uh, she's Molly Foster is going to be doing the invoice for our pickup car. Okay, so here's Atlanta. So we'll go back to the Atlanta. I think it 
was, let's just do the third and we're gonna return it on, okay. let's do it there, okay. So Molly, we've got a car rental that we just booked for a client, Atlanta on September 11th and we're returning it on the 14th. And this cost for this car is going to be, <laughs> it's thinking, it's thinking. Of course it's thinking. Well, we just put a cost, it doesn't really matter right now that it's uh, thinking at the moment. <laughs> Here we go, okay. Okay, we'll pick this enterprise one. Okay, $241.59 to pay at pickup. Okay, on September 11th through the 14th, okay? So we're gonna proceed with our checkout for the information for our clients, okay? And then we're gonna to wanna to send them an actual invoice of their booking. And of course, we're gonna to wanna to add on some commission on here, right? We want some commission money out of our booking. So we're gonna actually switch over to have our gold consultant, Molly Foster, do the invoice for this particular booking. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over my screen now. I'm going to be on my phone. So give it just a second to load. And we're gonna show you exactly how to do an invoice on the go. A lot of us use our mobile, not a computer when we're doing a lot of bookings and things. So give that just a second as it loads up. Alrighty. Let me go. Let me know in the chat box if you can see my phone screen. Just give me a yes. Perfect. Okay, so my one of my recommendations is to use this app. It's called Invoices and let me show you what it looks like. It's actually a, right here. It's um, a green excuse me, an orange, let me get my annotations here with my pointer. It's an orange app right here that says invoices. So when we open this up and you sign up for a quick account, it's, it's free, so you don't have to worry about that. Here's what it's actually gonna look like, okay? So when I start to put an invoice in, um, I'm gonna put in exactly the information that Courtney told me. So um, this is to, let's just say that we're booking it for Courtney, okay? So add item. And let's say that we're doing an enterprise rental car. You can actually type all of this in by hand. If I could spell, that would help. And you can do this on the go right from your phone, okay? The cost was $241.59. It was one rental car. I'm gonna to go ahead and take taxes off. I'll just give them a little note, maybe um, enjoy your trip, something like that, right? You guys can totally customize this, whatever you wanna do. Okay, then what we're gonna do is you can actually see the invoice. You can even add a photo if you wanted to clip the actual receipt of whatever it is that you're booking. And then you might not be able to see it because the screen is very small, but what you can also do is you can add a logo to your invoice with your information, your regular email, your business email, who it's going to, what it's for, um, it gives an invoice number, a date, the balance due, the rate. Again, you can add or not add taxes. And then you can simply just email this to your client if you wish to. You can also text it to them. So in this case, um, let's say I am just sending it in text message. I would send it to her or to the client or whoever it goes to. Oops. And then just send it. And then they can actually pull it up. So it's super cool. So that's how an invoice looks in a nutshell. And then they're actually gonna be able to log in to get it. And this is a totally free service. Um, yes, and then if you wanna add commission to this, let me go back. What you can do is you'll just be adding a line here. All right, so let's do, we're doing a rental car. Let's add an item. Let's say that we're gonna say it is for a research fee because I spent three hours getting her the best deal. No, we don't do that, I'm just kidding. But let's just put research fee here. You can put anything that you want to. You could put research fee, you could put booking fee, you could put deposit, you could put non-refundable deposit, whatever you like. Let's say she's one of my good friends and so I only wanna charge her 15 extra dollars, right? Maybe this booking didn't take me that long. So, and then I'm going to take the taxes off, return, 
go and then if you wanted to add it what it does is it actually calculates everything for you here if you wanted to show that it was a discount you could actually inflate the price and then put a discount total here if you wanted to add taxes to it for any reason you can do that as well and the balance due then goes up to 256.59 and then again if we look at our invoice let me zoom in so i can show you here it's going to have on the right hand side it's going to have it all itemized out so fifteen dollars and 241.59 all righty so that's just a basic invoice if this was for our rental car in atlanta you can actually go through and on your rental car you could even put this you could uh, modify it and put the dates so it was september 11th through the 14th 2020 and then we can put Atlanta. You can put any notes that you want to for yourself or for your client. And then this updates. We pull it up again, look at the preview, and there's our notes right there. Cool, okay. All right, so that's the invoice for the rental car. Courtney, do you wanna do another scenario so we can show them a different invoicing as well? Molly, somebody had asked if uh, you can show where the logo is and how to receive this invoice, where would they go to get this? Okay, so if you wanted to down, this is just the one that I use, but if you want to use the app, it's called Invoices. I'm circling it right here. It's orange with a white check mark. When you're in here, you actually have, when you're setting up an invoice, you can go into um, reports, items, clients, you have your settings here, your business details. This is where you're actually able to go in and upload your business name. If you wanted to put your name here, like I could continue and put my name here. Um, if I wanted to put my address, if I wanted to change my email, if I wanted to put my phone number or my website, right, because I have a website, you can totally customize it here in the settings. And this is something that you can go back and play with, but I really, really love this one. You can do invoice numbers, you can decide where you want to start them, like this is invoice two for our example today. You can also send yourself a copy of any emails that you do. You can set it to your own language or whatever you need to. This is actually pretty good too because you can restore and back up everything as well. If you need help, they also have a customer support, but there's all kinds of things that you can do at the bottom as well. You can actually have a Rolodex of clients. Um, you can actually run reports if you're doing a lot of sales. There's a lot of stuff that you can do by the month. Okay, does that answer the question? for whoever had a question. Yes, so Larry had asked, would this be two separate charges or just one charge for the total that you were putting on this invoice? Okay, so Courtney, I will let you continue on with the booking so you can kind of roll that into your next scenario, if you can. Sure. So let me... I'm gonna stop, share my screen. Controls are yours. So let's go back to the travel spot again. Okay, so the next one, let's do, let's do a, let's do a things to do, okay? And let's do Las Vegas. We'll go see Molly this time. So Las Vegas. And we're gonna go during our retreat. So I'm going from the 15th and checking out the 19th, and I want to know what are some things to do while I am there in Las Vegas. So let's see. So there's 107 activities on here. As you see, there are already some of them are already discounted already. So if I wanted to do a couple of these, okay, let's say I wanted to go to the Wax Museum, for instance, okay. Um, I just want a normal admission, uh, admission ticket for two, so select my dates. This is I want to go on the 16th, and I'm going for with two people. I can obviously select the more details to see what this is about. There is a phone number to contact if so, and there's 100% refundable until the 14th, okay, until July 14th, it is refundable. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. And you're gonna put your guest's name and information. So let's go ahead and just put, um, okay. 
menu. Okay, and then it's obviously going to ask me for some more information when I continue this. A little slow. Okay, it'll probably go to the checkout so I can see exactly how much that these tickets are going to be when I'm going to purchase them. Okay. Uh, do we have any questions so far, Molly? Well, it's uh, thinking. Not just yet. They're just waiting um, until we get to the section for the other set of invoices. Okay, perfect. So it says the activity date is July 16th. Okay, these are the guests that are going to the uh, Max Museum. Okay, there are no taxes involved and the total is $61.98. I definitely want to read the conditions and the policies so you know exactly what is going on with Oh, well, it just took my whole thing off. And it was $61.98. We'll just put it that way for the Wax Museum. Molly, sorry, it totally took it off when I was Got doing. it, no problem. So, so then Molly's gonna go over another area for you to do an invoice for our Wax Museum tickets. So we just bought the tickets for my clients and so she'll do an invoice for um, adding on that extra commission. So Molly, the floor is yours. All right, it might help if I unmute. Okay, so we did have some other questions about making the invoices. So instead of showing you an invoice from the invoice app, what I'm actually gonna do is switch over and I'm gonna show you another example if you don't like the invoice app that I showed you that you can actually do this exact same invoice and we're gonna show you what that looks like. So if you don't have a PayPal, what you'll want to do is you'll actually want to sign up for a PayPal account before I get ahead of myself. You'll also want to make sure that you have a business account, not a personal account, because somebody's going to be asking, why the heck are you asking me for money? You're supposed to be a business. So you want to make sure that your business account is there as well, okay? You'll go through the registration process, enter all your information in. Once you do that, then you'll be able to log into your business account. Just make sure you set it up as a business. Again, you are a sole proprietor when that question comes up. But we're not gonna go over to the registration of that today. Okay, so let's say that you're now in your PayPal business account and you're going to actually create an invoice. So at the screen, let me pull up my annotations again. At the screen here where it says invoicing, you're gonna be able to do the same thing. But let's say, for example, we got this at wholesale, right? And there's no commission built in. Let's say that we wanna actually add a commission in. You've got a couple of different ways that you can do this. PayPal does the exact same thing where you can actually go in um, and charge your clients and things. I'll just give you an example of what one of these looks like. You can still add, your business logo if you want to, and the details of exactly what you're selling. In this case, it was for Houston Rocket tickets back in October, right? But let's create a new invoice. Now again, your wording for this, let's say, uh, Courtney, how much do we wanna add to, to these tickets? What, what do you wanna make today? Um, let's do $10 a ticket. And then how many tickets did we sell? Two tickets. Two tickets, okay. So you can add your company logo here, right? Let's say this is invoice number 14. Let's say it's been a very busy month for us. So I'm providing a service, right? And let's say that I'm selling this to Miss Courtney, so I would type in her name. You can also save your client's information if you have somebody who comes to you a lot for business. You can save that as well. We're gonna sell it to Courtney. Um, and then Courtney, are you and your friend gonna be paying together or paying separate? Do we need to do separate invoices or can I put it on one? We're gonna do, we're gonna do separate, we're gonna do separate. Okay, and what was the name of, of the person who you're going to the show with again? Uh, Jorge. Is that spelled correctly? That is correct. And last name? Orsini, O-R-S-I-N-I. Awesome. So it looks like we're going to go to a show with Courtney and her boyfriend when she comes for the Evo retreat. <laughs> All right. So two invoices will now be created, right? So the item name, I'm going to have to look at my notes here so I don't spell it wrong. It's Madame Tussaud, T-U-S-S-A-U-D. I'll put Wax Museum, right? You can be as descriptive or as little of description as you want, okay? So we've actually sold one ticket to her and one ticket to him, so I'm gonna actually separate it out, just so you'll be able to see that. 
All right, quantity one. Now on this scenario, I'm actually only going to charge them just to show you guys, okay, the commission, just so you can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna make $10 a ticket, so I'm making an extra $20, okay? I'm not gonna charge them taxes or anything like that. We're good to go, so the total is 20. Again, you can inflate the price if you want to and then show a deducted total so that it shows that they're getting more value. If you wanna be able for them to leave you a tip, go for it. If you wanna be able, if this was a big total and they wanted to split it up between two payments, you could also do that as well. You can also put the minimum amount due, okay? PayPal will run exactly the same as Square, if you're familiar with those. Have a great time at the show, right? Just friendly letters, something like that, right? No terms and conditions. Again, you can add a file, you can attach a receipt, whatever you want to do. You'll preview this, and again, if they ask, some of the terms that we use are um, research fee, booking fee, deposit, non-refundable deposit, whatever you like, and they can pay you via Discover, Visa, American Express, MasterCard, PayPal, here, or PayPal credit, whatever they like. So this is what the invoice would look like if you're doing just commission only. This applies to flights, hotels, rental cars, things to do, show tickets, and everything like that. If you're just going to send them an invoice uh, receipt for the actual commission, which is the daily upfront commissions, because again, everything that we're selling here in the back office of Evo Rewards is non-commissionable. So for those of you who have questions as to how to do a flight, it's the exact same way, and you would just be adding that in as well. Um, and so we had some questions. Yes, so Beth, does that answer your question about using PayPal if you decide to do it? Um, all right, Courtney, do you wanna go over another example and so we can actually focus on if we don't have their physical card handy, what we can do? Sure, and I think Barbara had a question. Does PayPal charge the client? <laughs> Does PayPal charge the client for using PayPal or do they just charge your business? Well, I knew somebody was gonna answer that, so I have a tab ready. <laughs> okay, so PayPal and Square pretty much provide the exact same service. Um, one of the things to note, let me take you to that page here. It's about 2.9% plus 30 cents is what it actually charges. So if you have a very large charge, then this is a great idea. 2.9% plus 30 cents actually isn't that much to be able to process somebody's credit card if we have to do that. So Courtney, do you wanna go ahead and um, transition into that and then we can show them how to manually enter in a card? Sure, I'll do another uh, mock for you guys. Good questions. Okay. Good question, Barbara. I think, can I screen share now or? Yeah, you should be able to. Let me stop share. There we go. Okay. We'll go back to Evo Rewards. How are you liking, how are you liking Evo Rewards so far? Look at this one on my area. Three, three red box movies. Wow, Knoxville, that's a Knoxville. Six dollars, three free red box movies. I like that. So let's go back to the travel spot. Okay. Okay, so we did cars, we did things to do. Let's go ahead and do a hotel. Okay, so let's go to, let's go see me. You guys need to come see me, okay? So we're gonna just pick uh, the 27th through the 29th of June for one room and two guests in Providence, Rhode Island, where I am located. Okay, and we're just gonna pick this one here. The, this one's a pretty good savings. This one's got a nice jacuzzi. Again, just like normal, you're going to, you can scroll down. Does your client need free breakfast, right? If, if I was the client, do I want free breakfast? I do want free breakfast. That is always a must when I am looking for my own hotel because I don't want to have to worry about free breakfast, okay? So I'm gonna click free breakfast. You're gonna obviously look at the amenities on the side to see what you or your client is looking for, okay? Um, yes, I want airport shuttle because I don't have to worry about it, okay? Well, this one looks great. You're gonna look at all of the pictures. You're gonna look at the reviews, pretty much everything that you're gonna look at, okay? So I'm gonna pick this one as a, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one. 
Okay, now I'm going to do Hampton. I like this one. Okay, so I'm going to select the rooms that I would like. So just like you would be looking for yourself, right? You do the same thing for your clients. Do you have any questions so far? I see the chat box is uh, linking on my side. And no chat box. No, uh, no okay. questions. So we have Hampton Inn, okay, in Coventry, in Coventry, in Warwick, in Providence. Okay, so it says have breakfast, local shuttle, internet access. Okay, it looks great. I'm super happy with this. It's got free internet access and it has a fitness facility that I need to use. Okay, you're gonna obviously pick the kind of bedding that your client is looking for. Okay, so we're gonna pick the king bed, not smoking. Definitely read the room details and there's a whole map so you can see if I'm staying in a particular, uh, if I have an event and I wanna stay in a particular area, definitely wanna map out and see how far it is from my event to where I'm staying at the hotel. Okay, so then I don't have to go too far. So everything looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and book this, okay? Tells me all the information that I'm going to need to know for my client or for myself, okay? I'm saving $38 off the retail price. Okay, so that's maybe something that I wanna add into my invoice. So the total price, Molly, is $220. Let me proceed to check out, okay? So $228 at Hampton Inn, so $228.95. And I'm saving $38. I'm saving $38. Okay, so then Molly's going to show you how you would input that on another invoice source. So Molly, the floor is yours. Okay, so check this out. So we actually put the payment information with the credit card of the client here, right? So there, we're charging them the $228.95. So let's say that we've done all the research right let me go ahead and switch my screen again to my phone and let's say that now we have to actually invoice them with their credit card for the difference now courtney we are saving 38 dollars for our client how much are we going to be charging them how much do we want to uh to charge their card additionally beyond this well, the um, savings was $38, so we don't want to obviously charge too much because we're already saving $38. So maybe we want to charge maybe an extra 20 because they're still saving money and we're still getting, they're still getting a really good deal, right? We're doing good. So I assume we have this question as well, and I'll throw it to you before I start on the actual invoice. How do you determine how much extra you should charge your client on each transaction, Courtney? Sure. So what I've been told in the past from our two-star platinum, Nicole Leaves, when I started this, that um, whatever the savings is, you can obviously half that in price, half that, right? So if, we're, if it's $100 savings, right, you can half that and that's $50, right? They're still going to get a good discounted deal because it's still $50 cheaper than what they're going to find, right? And then I'm still saving them 50 bucks. Does that make sense? Yes, perfect. So in this case, 38 divided by two is 19. So we're gonna call it 20, exactly what Courtney said. Now, if you need to actually charge your client's card, you can either use Square or you can use an app that I love called PayPal here, okay? If you're not familiar with that, let me show you what the app actually looks like. It's called Pay, PayPal here. So I'll pull up my annotations again. And again, you can use Square, you can use PayPal, it doesn't matter. In this example, we're just gonna go with PayPal here because it's on my phone. And then Courtney actually has a hard um, Square that she'll show you too. So it's called PayPal here. So we click this, you sign up for an account. What you're able to do that's a little bit different here is that you can actually input someone's credit card by hand, right? And this is where that fee, um, let's, so let's say we're charging them $20, right? $20. This is where you would actually be able to charge them the fee and you can enter in the credit card number. And I think it was either Barbara or Beth that had the question, right? Okay. And here's how you do it. It doesn't matter if it's a hotel, if it's a, flight, if it's a rental car or whatever it may be, you can literally enter in their credit card by hand. And then that is when you would be charged the 2.8% plus the 30 cents for every transaction. So if we just do some quick math here, let's say we're selling something for $1,000, um, 2.8% would be $28 plus 30 cents. So 28.30, you know, for me, if we're charging a thousand, but there's other ways that you can also 
invoice somebody or actually ask them for the money, okay? We have, I think I have them pulled up here. We have Venmo. If it's friends or family, if you feel comfortable then, right? You can pay or request on Venmo. We have Cash App. This is a very popular one. You can request or you can pay and you can cash it right out to your bank account, right? You can also log into your bank account and do a Zelle as well. I won't show you that one. But if we're going back here, this is a way that you can actually go ahead and type the credit card in by hand so you know that you're actually getting paid and you're not waiting for someone to send the money either on Cash App or send the money or request it on Venmo. It's a much faster way to be able to do it. So Larry has a question. Do you need them to do a separate credit card authorization form? So that's a very good question. So yes. So Courtney, do you want to touch on the credit card authorization form now or do you want me to go into more detail of another invoice? Um, I think, uh, guys, do you need another detail for another invoice? I think we showed you three different ways where you can do invoices and then I can show you as so far as when you order your square, it is free to order, it comes in this little package, okay? And then when you open it up, it's got, oh wait, you can't see. There you go, screen. you're good, they can see you. Oh, okay. So then when, hold on, so then when you open it up, we've got this, the little square piece and it just attaches it to your phone. And then you'll be able to actually swipe this. So if you're local, you have a local, and sometimes I have local clients um, and they can just go ahead and swipe. All the information is inputted into the square or you can obviously put it in to the actual system on the app. So whichever one that obviously works for you, that's what you can do. Um, and then as far as your credit card authorization form, I'm going to go back to my back office here. Log in. So to get to your credit card authorization form, you're going to head to the Travel Cafe. And so this is for your credit card authorization form. Travel Cafe, and from the Travel Cafe, on the left-hand side, if there's a tab that says Forms, okay? There's a tab that says Forms, so you scroll right here, it says Forms, so when I open this spot up for Forms, it's gonna give me all the forms that you're gonna need for uh, your business, okay? We've got all these forms right here. As you see, you recognize the supply request one because you've done that one, and on the top, here's your credit card authorization form, okay? So you can obviously use the Adobe PDF reader, so you can use that and add your logo, you can change the words if you want, etc. cetera. Um, let's open this up so we can see it. Okay, here is your credit card authorization form. So you can go ahead and change all of this, okay? Your business name, your address, you can change all of this stuff on here, okay? It definitely leaves our your travel logo on here. Um, and you can send this to your client. Um, you can email this to them and they can email it back to you. You can email to them and they can print it out and they don't have a way to get it back to you. They can send a picture. Um, and then uh, Molly, I think you have a area where you can show them, um, the, was it the Adobe fill in sign that you guys can use for electronic signatures and they can use that to be sent back. Um, yes, yes. And we also had a couple of questions. So in the chat, I have provided both of the links if you wanted to order the square and the PayPal or the PayPal both. They're both free. So why not just order them? The links are in the chat. So if I show you guys the Adobe fill and sign, let me pull up my phone and I will share it with you as well. As you can tell, most of the stuff that I do is on my mobile. So it's really cool to be able to share that. Okay, so there's another free app that you can download. And let me get my cursor here so you can actually see. It's called Adobe Fill and Sign. What you'll find is your clients are also very busy as well. This is what the app looks like. You'll see it on the top right. It's black and purple. And when you click that, you actually have the ability to load the form in here. So we had the sample form. This is, um, this is just like a sample membership form, okay? Then we have the form loaded, 
And you can act, this is the old one that Archer Travel had with their information when we actually used to have to send this to Archer. The one that Courtney showed you on the previous screen, you can actually modify that. So you can put your information, your address, phone number, email, whatever you like. It's just very important that you have the pertinent information, right? So the name of the traveler, whatever it is that you booked, how much you're gonna be charging their card, your agent ID number. The, you only have to have the last four of the credit card, right? And you're going to have that anyway because you're processing the card and then they'll just sign it so this is exactly if you wanted to learn how to do a credit card authorization form on the go this is a wonderful 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 way to do that now um yes courtney she also has put in the chat box you do need to keep the credit card authorization forms but now for compliance reasons you do not have to send it to archer you just need to keep it in a secure file or wherever you keep secure documents for six months that's what they're asking for compliance so that's one of the ways besides email besides text message you can actually fill this out on the go so check this out i can create a signature they can create a signature when they're filling it out right okay we'll sign it let's say i'm signing something done they saves it i move it down here right they can actually enter in all of their information as well via text message so let's say Okay, I'll just put Courtney, see how she can, if let's just say this was her invoice, she can actually go in and type in her information as well. It's very, very easy to do on the phone. Doesn't matter if you have iPhone or Android, okay? We won't get into that conversation today. And then it actually just saves it as if she had typed it in. Let's say that we're done with this. We filled it all out. Um, this is our form and then we are gonna send it. You can send, you can have your client actually send it back to you via text message, Facebook Messenger, Gmail, whatever you like. It doesn't matter, Outlook, you can send it via Drive, right? So let's just say we're gonna text it. I'll text it to myself again, just to show you guys, it's super easy. So let's say that a client is sending it this to me and it's been filled out. I'll receive it via text message. And then I can pull it up and it's right here in a beautiful little PDF. And then I can just save that on my computer or print it out and save it in my secure files. And that's it. So you don't have to send it to Archer. This is just for you, just in case there are chargebacks, any issues, Archer Travel will be asking you for this uh, for compliance for the future. If anything were to happen with your booking, okay? We always wanna prepare for the worst case scenario, not saying that's gonna happen, but we want to make sure that we cover ourselves. I did not see any questions about that. That was for the credit card authorization form. So yes, you should be doing this for every single transaction that you do. Okay. And just a reminder, actually, um, I would like to just show them again where that form is. Somebody had asked about where that form is located. And again, um, all of your information, guys, is always going to be in your back office travel cafe. Okay, it's all of your all your forms that you're going to need, reservation forms, okay, there's a supply request form, all your forms that you're going to need is there, again, so that you're going to go to the click here to open it up, and again, you can put in all your information, okay, supply your name. Now, I usually um, fill this out, you know, myself, if it's Max Vacation Disney, then I can obviously put that in, but if it's something like TAP, um, I don't put Expedia on there just because I, I, I just don't want them to know that. Um, I leave that blank or I may just put, you know, tap. They don't know what tap means. Okay. I, just, I may put ETAP. They don't know what ETAP means. It's just for my records only. Our travel obviously knows what tap would be if I have to, you know, send this to them. Um, but sometimes when I have, you know, uh, the actual booking and then I have, you know, $20, you know, sometimes I don't do two just because I may put, you know, all the information and the, um, uh, the total and it may have parentheses, you know, um, backs and then parentheses, $20, uh, non-refundable fee total. So it has kind of a breakdown. So there's just one. Um, that's just how I, um, I do it. So I don't have multiple yeah, invoices coming at once from different things. They may have different ones on the same booking. Does that make sense? Um, I see we have some chat stuff going on. Um, does that make sense, guys? Does that help you as far as your invoices and separation and the 
credit card authorization forms and adding logos, your own business information on there. Okay, I think we've got like just a few more minutes. Um, I will show them, Courtney, if you want, let me show them what I do to modify an email really quickly because uh, yes, I know perfect. people have questions about that. So let's say, let me go back into my email. Let's say that you actually booked something from Expedia Tap, right? Let me get in my right email here. And let's say that you are sent this car rental confirmation from Alamo. This is just an example. Now, I always take off all of the branding for whatever brand it is because I don't want them to click on something and then maybe they purchase the things to do from Expedia and not from me. So what we always recommend doing when you actually do an invoice, and I'll show you exactly what, what it looks like. This is the email that I sent my client for the same exact booking. See how he's not able to pick anything, but it has that he wanted a four wheel drive truck with four doors. He wanted it from February the 7th to March the 2nd with the itinerary and the confirmation number. Everything that he needs to be able to pick up the car. He asked for a standard pickup, air conditioning, extra day fee, an extra hour fee. And this is all that I sent him as his confirmation. Okay, so that's kind of important to know that, especially if it's Expedia Tap, you do want to take off the branding. And this would count towards your IATAN card. I see Courtney rem reminder as well. Now, Courtney is the one to talk about this because she is a two-time IATAN card holder. Um, as we wrap up today, Courtney, do you want to explain to them the differences between booking commissions with daily commission versus booking it through the vendor and getting paid out through Archer that would count towards your IATAN card? And then we'll wrap up for the day. Sure. So when you're booking through vendors, those vendors that we have in the the back office when you're on your supplier list, right? So when you're on your supplier list, we remember we have 133 suppliers you can book from. And when you're booking on any of the suppliers are, uh, um, that are associated with Archer Travel, you will earn commission because you are filling out a commission tracking form through your Evo Travel Agent website, okay? If you're doing the daily commission and we're charging the clients through a separate invoice, you are not, that money is not towards your IATAN card, okay? So we have, Daily commissions that you can earn up front through separate invoices is not associated with the IATAN card versus if you're booking stuff with through Archer Travel and you're filling out a commission tracking form through your Evo Travel Agent website that is going to be added to your, um, your commission towards your IATAN card. And remember, to earn that IATAN card, you have to make a minimum of $5,000 in commissions. Okay, once you get that $5,000 in commissions, you will receive... A, you will receive an email from Archer Travel, and then you will get your IATAN card. My IATAN card is in my purse, so I can't get it at the moment. I'll let Art show you. But once you have that IATAN card, okay, that's showing that you can even get even more deals and discounts from earn, having that card. Upgrades and everything else, and flights included, um, uh, discounts on flights, etc. Okay, now you have that for 12 months. And now in order for you to keep it and earn another IATAN card, you have to make another $5,000 within 12 months, not a whole year, but you have 12 months. So if I earn it July of this year, I have until July of next year to make another five minimum of $5,000 in commissions, and then I will earn my third IATAN card. Does that make sense? Just put in the chat box, yes, it makes sense. Yes, it looks like they've got it. Makes sense. Okay, perfect. Okay, awesome. Well, I think uh, we have a minute left to answer any questions related to invoices or your Evo rewards. Um, and then we are going to wrap it up for the Friday evening, for Friday afternoon for you guys. Any last minute questions? Doesn't look like we have any coming in. We no? must have done our job, Miss Courtney. Can I, ask a, can I ask a question about the IATAN card? Sure. Um, Sarah, how are you? Good. I was just curious when you have like a big booking, let's say you had a group booking and you did over $10,000, let's say in commissions, you know, obviously this is rare, but would you get two IATAN cards or would they just be one and it would start the next year for your next one? How does that work? Uh, that is a good question. I think we would have to maybe get in contact with Nicole and find out. Um, 
No problem. I was just curious. Yeah, because it's, it's a, just a minimum of you're getting it. So it would just probably be, in my case, probably just one. And then once you, again, get another card, you have to, you know, within 12 months, you have 12 months to earn it again. So I to, see. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. I think we have a question. Is booking flights the same way? Um, you can use booking flights on the evil rewards it'd be the same way adding on those commissions you can use this format um there is another format um and we will make another training probably another day for that one but you can use it for this eileen says just one per year with minimum requirements for the iatan yeah. card she's our Perfect. specialist too <laughs> thank you miss eileen um so yes sarah you have 12 months to earn a minimum of 5,000 once 12 months and you hit that mark, even if you don't hit that mark, let's just say if I hit it this July and then I have to make a minimum of $5,000 by next July, you know, if I don't make it by next July, that's fine. If I make it in August, then I'll earn it in August and, and I'll have until August of the following year to earn that. So it's definitely, if you have 12 months, not, not calendar year, but 12 months. Does that help Sarah? Yes, thank you. No problem. Okay. Miss Molly, we're going to go ahead and close it out. That was our um, training for the day. I think we have one last question. Is there a processing fee on invoices app like PayPal? I think Molly um, did cover that on the percentage for. Yes. So it's um, it can vary depending on the APY that the banks use as well. But it's uh, right now it's 2.8% plus 30 cents. Now, you wouldn't be charged that if you use Cash App or Zelle or Venmo, but Square and PayPal are very competitive towards each other. You can think of them as Uber and Lyft. They're pretty interchangeable. So it's 2.8% plus 30 cents per transaction. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, we really, really appreciate you spending your Friday afternoon with us. For the 27 of you that did stay on, thank you so much. Molly and I do appreciate your time and your patience with us. And you know what? Definitely plug in. Okay, You get a daily text every single day by 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time every morning. I do the daily training schedule. So you will receive that in your text message or definitely your team in chat. So definitely plug in. It's the only way you're going to learn because learning is earning. Okay, so we're definitely going to see you guys uh, next Friday. Next Friday is what is the topic for next Friday? I believe it is vacation rentals. Vacation rentals. I think that's going to be a very, it's going to be a big one. Okay. Um, Barbara, no, we do not report daily commissions on the commission tracking form. Correct. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Molly and I will definitely maybe not see you at the beaches of the world right now, but guess what? We'll definitely, definitely see you at the bank. Thank you and so much. And the Evo much. Rewards. Uh, oh, Evo, and Evo uh, Retreat. And the Evo Retreat. Oh, a reminder, you can see my screen. Travel Cafe, buy your retreat tickets July 17th, 18th. Today is the last day to buy your tickets. There's only a limited amount of spots, so go ahead and buy your tickets. Molly and I will definitely see you guys there in a month. Molly, back to you. All right, guys, it's Friday. Happy Friday. Hope you enjoy the training. Um, we have new agent orientation that starts at six. If you have any new agents that have joined us today or this week, and if we don't see you at the beach of the world, we'll see you at the bank or at the Evo retreat. Thank you so much, Courtney. Thank you everybody who was on and we will get this recording out to the rising tide three website as soon as we can get it converted. Have a great weekend. Bye.